Okay. I'm going to teach you guys. This is an ant. I'm going to teach you guys how to make this out of a paracord. Got picked up some other paracord. Uh, we'll also work on some other ones. I'll show you how that works. Paracord. Scissors. Different pliers you might use. Okay. So let's take this piece of paracord and we're going to make a loop like that. All right. Okay. Now this one, twist that underneath. We make this loop on top. We're going to hold that, take this one around the back, go under. Then we're going to come out here. Okay, now when I have this, when I flip it upside down, there's a square. See that square right there? So then we're going to see how big we want this loop. We're going to adjust that more. Bring this around the front. Bring it through that square. This one, bring around the back. Through that square as well. Now we're going to pull these. And there is our knot. Now, what I want to do first, I need to adjust this where this loop is quite a bit smaller. And we need antennas. The loop is smaller. So on these two, this is where I want to put the little antennas. Print down on that. Get that even. Now, Okay, and we'll adjust those later, but those are, those are the antennas of the ant. Okay, I actually kind of like the little white on there, on the end of them. Now on this one, I tied this one a little bit different. This one, I had the antennas coming out of here. We're not going to do that. So, but we'll be able to kind of move this around. We'll have little feet on it. So, really make sure that's tight. Okay. And if you want, you could always drop a dab of glue on there if you wanted to. Now let's take the second one. Because we need one, two, three of them. I tied a second one. Now what we're going to do, peel off a small piece of tape. I do this, that way I can keep track of what ones I'm going to keep till the end. I'm just going to tape those two. And it doesn't get confusing with the other ones. So I tied another one of the same knots. I left it loose because through that square in the bottom, I'm also going to poke these paracord strings through it. So now I'm going to tighten that down. Now, the difference I'm going to do, I don't need this. So I am going to cinch that up. Let me see where that feeds through. And then, so I have these taped. We know which ones those are. Now, before I tighten this up, I don't want, these are going to be the feet. So I don't want those on the top. I want them on the bottom. Now I'm going to tighten it up. So the tricky part about this one is you're going to have to go through and in order to cinch it up, you have to feed it through from the one side and push it all the way through. And that's where the pliers are going to come into play. Cause I'm going to twist it and then pull it through. And then I'm going to have a, a knot and I will tie these into feet. So I'm going to go through, and twist this and tighten down these and then I will be ready to show you the next step. Okay so now I tightened all that up that actually will slide but I just did some knots and then I tricked to this is you light it melt it 
and use the lighter to smash it down with the paracord. So you can see how it has the head, the antennas, and the little feet. So now we're going to do two more sections, and then I'm going to tie a knot at the end like this for the tail, the little butt of it. Okay, once I get that, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I still have that taped. I'm going to cinch this up. Now you can see the second set of feet. Tie that. I want to try to make sure they're the same length as the other ones. I'm going to cut them. And you don't want to throw out the other cord you're cutting off because you can use it for different things, which I'll show you on another video. You can pull out the inside. Once I pull this out, I don't need those. We could use those for lots of different things. Now you have a really flexible piece of paracord and you can heat this up and then flatten the ends out. And you can use this for hands on the Yoda one. This is actually how you make the ears. But, and you can also use those other strands if you need to. So we're gonna have one more. So right now you can see we have the head. That's for the carabiner. Two sets of legs. We're gonna do a third set of legs and then we're gonna tie one last knot in the end of it and we will have our ant keychain. Okay, we're down to the last step. So, tie these feet. That's why I taped those off with electric tape, that way you can keep them separate through the whole process. Otherwise you'll want to grab onto those paracords, but if you know they're taped, they're part of the main body. Now this part, you want to get this, if you want to leave it loose, you can, because then you can have it where you can move the, the body pieces around. But then on this one, I just tie one last knot. So what you're going to want for this is an 18 inch piece to tie original one. And then you want the 16 inch for three 16 inch pieces. So let's cut this. Okay, so that is how you make your ant keychain with antennas on him. So that's how your ant keychain is. Then if you do the first step, so you know, this is where I was talking to you when you pull this out. When you pull these, oh, I need to cut this end off. That just melted. So when you pull these out, and we could have actually done that for little antennas. I didn't want to do that. This one I did do that for. You can see how I use it as arms. Yeah, so on this one, I tied the first knot, then I tied the second knot, and then I just tied it at the end with the feet, and then I have a little person. So that's how you make the, that's how you make an ant. It could be an aardvark, or it could be an anteater, but yeah. So that is how you make an ant out of paracord. And there's your keychain. Cool.